So what kind of questions do you have on the chart? I know sometimes they're not the easiest thing to read. Well, I guess I was kind of looking at this and saying that you know, this is a, uh, we're talking, you know, some, a lot of dogs here. And I was wondering if we should be, you know, we're looking at a, a couple of uh, quotes. I mean, I mean, technically we've got our existing, you know, quote, what it is. And then, you know, we have Blue Cross Blue Shield. I was wondering if we should, yeah. We had Qualex on there. Uh, we did have quotes from Fall Choice, Fall Choice and from Blue Cross Blue Shield, both at $500 deductibles and $1,000 deductibles. And this was the most reasonable option of what quotes we did receive. That's why we were But, they were, this but it was just from one vendor, though. Right, we're still from Brown Hill Park. Correct, but yes, another vendor came in, but her quote was with Fall Choice, and it was higher than what we what this is. Right, is this the, the agent Park on this? Is Brown Hill Park. Sorry, yes. agent Brown yeah. Hill Park. Yes, BHC. 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 May or, or somebody? Mm -hmm. I guess my, you know, and, and I'll say this, I, I'm. I'm with you. I, I think that we should buy the best that we can buy. I, I think I, I want to provide the best possible insurance that we can give to our employees because I think it's an important thing. I, if I'm looking, am I reading this that on this column on the, on the benefits deductible, out of pocket max, all those, mm -hmm. that's me, what you have in municipal league and then what you would have in Blue that's Cross Blue Shield. That's right. That is correct. I mean, what's jumping out at me off this is the out of network max. I guess you got to define what's in network. I mean, I see the, you know, your your out of pocket max is a little higher on these. Right. The, um, with Blue Cross Blue Shield, there are a lot of providers that are in network. Very few, as I understand from them that are out of network. With what we currently have, it's the opposite. Very few are in network and there's far more out of network than what are in network. And, and to be honest and with you. Blue Cross Blue Shield, if you're sick in Arkansas, you're sick in Texas, you're sick in California, you're covered. Municipal Health Benefit Fund, if you're sick in Arkansas, you're, you might be covered. But if you're sick in Texas or wherever, you're not covered. And, and let me say this too. If, if I can, the, the, the column that, that does reflect where we are and where as we stand right now is almost, it, it was tempting not to even put it on there, not to hide it, to keep it from anybody. But the numbers that you see, those deductible numbers and the copay, those all look pretty nice. But what you don't see is, is the issues that all the employees are facing. Those are, those are, and that's the reason we're here, is to talk and you know, discuss changing insurance companies because of what we've got is just not adequate in any form or fashion. I have only run across, and, and I can, and I will tell you that I've not talked to every single employee, but we talked to a lot of them today, and a lot of the ones that are here today did not necessarily um, tell us of their issues or where they didn't get paid or where they still got bills or the or medical, but we've been hearing it all year long. I mean, certainly through Tammy's office and Ann's and, and probably Charlotte too, but so as good as the column is looking not too shabby, it's, it's the coverage. So our goal is to get an insurance company, and again, you know, if, if they're not even really an insurance company, they're a benefit fund. So, you know, the, the, and I'll take all the blame or whatever needs to go with it for changing last year, uh, other than the fact that we, we were looking, by the way, we were looking, uh, the gentleman that was here misquoted the, the increase that we were looking at last year, and the reason we changed to begin with, it wasn't 8%, it was 22 point something. And he called back and apologized to him later, but he, he didn't flip through there real quick enough and saw that. So, what are the differences these two sheets were looking at? Oh, I'm sorry. The two sheets, the back sheet reflects a hearing aid rider, and that's the only difference in, in those two sheets. We, we, and I'm, I'm trying to speak on behalf of the employees, hopefully I can, or if I can't, the department heads certainly can. We, we talked about that a little bit. It's not much of a cost for that hearing aid rider, but it does increase. As you can see, in other words, the, the medical dental vision on the front page, the total cost percentage to the city is 682%. If you, if you tag on the hearing aid rider, it goes up to 7.61%. Employees basically felt, and, and the general 
you know, populations here that they didn't, we didn't need that in our insurance that they wanted that they could buy it themselves. Uh, so Plus, that, that is the only difference. With the vision plan, they have um, oh. a part two where you will get 30% off of hearing aids under the vision plan. So there's no need to pay for a vision or a hearing aid rider when you can get 30% off of hearing aids through the vision plan. So am I also safe to say that the green numbers are what are increases? <coughs> the green numbers are what the employees, the projected cost per employee per paycheck if they elect family coverage. And and yes, that you can't compare where it is from last year or currently to that to get the increase. So right now we pay one ninety nine. I'm just saying what we're on right now is gonna go up two hundred bucks. <coughs> well, no. one ninety nine. One Yeah. It's going to go up 30. But it's going to go up though what we're on right now, right? For the employee next year? For family coverage? Yes, yes. it's going from yes. 199.13 to 230. I mean, if we were to stay, we should have this next year. Oh, no, oh, no, the there is no increase. There is no increase. Is no increase. I, I should have noted that very first. I'm sorry. We were we were told, Tammy and I went to an insurance meeting at, at Municipal League this year at Little Rock, and we, were, we, we got to hear the whole thing about it, and then kind of at the end it was like okay by the way uh, all insurance costs are going up uh, you will soon get a letter from the municipal league we don't have it and some of them came up and got their letter immediately we waited until we got home and, he, and he, there was a statement that uh, some cities some very lucky cities will not increase so when we get back i think it was the next day our letter was here before us and we were one of those lucky cities uh, and that's good news the bad news is it doesn't pay for anything so, but no, but no, there, there was not, there is not a planned increase on current insurance. I thought you were asking for the employees. I just thought, because yeah. most everybody's insurance goes up every year, you right. pay raise yeah. just offsets the insurance yep. rates. Yep. But I guess one thing I've been looking at is, uh, it's shown there, it's okay, uh, it's shown that's the increase in is 199.13 to be, Go with just option one. Is that right? That's the old. That's our municipal. Uh, municipal league. The one in green, one ninety nine, thirteen is what we're paying now. Okay, is what we're paying now. Yeah. The increase, if if we if we took what I was suggested or any of those numbers back, if you go all the way across, you see. Yeah. Okay. And look at medical vision, dental, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. First number two thirty forty seven. That would be the employee's new cost to them. Their, their increase would be $31 or something. $34. $4.43 a week. But I guess I'll take a lot of there. So, so if you do believe. Really oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. If we're saying that uh, on that third column yeah. from the right, if we're saying the increase will be $230.47. If we do medical, dental, vision, not the increase, that's their cost. Their cost, the yes. employee has to yes. pay. Yes. But it's the increase to the city is at a 6.82% overall. But I guess, why is it an increase, then if you go over there to that far column, it's, just, it's 237 with the, with the, the dental being 75%. You know. Okay, that is an option. Can you do that one? And the, the last, the first column from the right, or last column, I guess. 75%. That would be with the city paying for 100% of medical and still the 32.5% of the difference between family and individual and then paying for 75% of the dental and vision, the employees would be on their own if they elect to have vision. So more out of pocket for the More out of pocket for the employees. Oh, yeah. okay. But you feel like based on what you have shopped to the DC's point mm -hmm. that this is our best deal as far as coverages, yes. deductibles, yes. all of those kind of yes. factors. There. And if you yes. go to the doctor and all of your co-pays, if you get prescriptions, all of those things, all of those items, all that money spent there goes toward your deductible with this plan. I do not believe it does with uh, it, does it does not with mm -hmm. municipal. It didn't look like it on health care either. And the big thing on municipal that, that we were looking at from my department was this lack of coverage 
in an automobile accident, if you're in a vehicle with liability only, 100% of the cost goes to the employee. And, they will not go over to and the fact that if I've got an employee that runs over to Oklahoma City for the weekend and they become Get ill, 100% of the cost is out of their pocket. They got no coverage once they cross the border if they receive treatment in another state. See, so yeah. that's with my wife. See, I carry my wife, so it's cost me $199 every pay period. But she works in Oklahoma City three days a week. Plus, she drives a car that only has liability insurance. So for the whole year, I've been paying close to $400. And if she has a break in Oklahoma, nothing's covered. Not a dime. Nothing. I just found that out was I'm going to go back, really. Well, you said you did it about 52, I didn't check it. I didn't check it. $230 a month, about 52. Mm -hmm. so Is this per pay page? Yes. So 
I just that's that's one thing I was kind of looking at is just kind of from the family end. If it might help you know, on the on the family side, you know, then the employees are if you're just a you know just a employee, you're going to be okay. But I'm thinking that you know. Everybody agreed that's when I wanted. That. I mean, all the employees that were here today. Yeah. Well, I, I understand that, but I didn't know if, if you looked at it and said, oh, it's uh, at 1,500 and, and 3,000, or at 1,250 and. 2400 or 2500 you know it's going to be this cost you know that would be uh, a difference there because i i mean i don't know you know what other clothes we were given you know i think we were given a, uh, a 2000 and a 1500 which i don't know exactly the annual maximum No, I'm not looking at that. Five hundred and a thousand deductibles. Yeah, that's all I saw. Was, yeah, it was just those. That's right the highest deductible you received. Based on what, 
Huh? They were still all okay with that. Well, yeah, no, 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 not if, if you keep raising the deductible. So a thousand right. okay is okay. Or, so what I'm seeing so far, you know, based on our our receipts and stuff coming in, you know, our cumulative that we're ahead so far over 2016 over 2015 is on the city sales and use tax, we're up 2.3 percent year over year, <coughs> and on the county sales and use tax, we're up three and a half percent year over year. And so we're saying, but we're going to increase the uh, cost to the city 6.8 percent, you know, on this. And so, well, to give them to give them insurance, or well, that's right, give them insurance. And I said, I'm all for giving them insurance, but I'm thinking, you know, if we tweak the the uh, again the deductible and stuff. You know, we may be able to keep the insurance costs in line with what uh, we're seeing our revenues increase. I'm thinking, you know, we're, we're saying if you even take on the high side, we're saying, hey, three and a half percent is what uh, we're bringing in an increase. Or we're saying we're willing to almost double what we are, you know, on expenses. So I just think that in some ways, if uh, again, if it's just a little bit of a tweaking of, you know, twelve fifty uh, and a twenty five hundred uh, deductible on individual and uh, family. I, I that brings it down to, because I know the guy was here talking to you and he said well, it was all pretty quick and everything, but that's all he gave us as a scenario. A scenario. And I know that, again, you know, uh, for me it's, you know, it's 3,000, you know, for individual and 6,000 for family. And so, again, while I want to try to, yes, be good in the cities, I think we are doing good, you know, trying to say, hey, we're looking at going to a different you know, provider to give y'all the, the coverage that y'all, you know, are, are seeking and the better things, you know, uh, uh, again, because I wasn't aware of all these uh, kind of uh, faults with municipal league. You know, I'm thinking, hey, municipal league, you know, it's, they cover most of the cities in the state, and I know it's got to be, you know, pretty good. But, uh, but on the other side of that, I'm thinking if you did want to go to them and say, well, what is a, you know, because even at, even at 1250 and 2500, we're still, in some ways, I think, Way below the what the norm is out there in the uh, and everywhere else. Well, I think we push good benefit for working for the city. And that damn a lot of duck bulls in. Thanks. I mean, we'll just have to. I mean, if, if it comes up where the pinch pennies, we'll pinch it somewhere else and not get somebody new car or work for you know whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work as far as budget goes. I think. The life says, do you know to if the village is happy, then we'll run. I agree. I mean, I, I, you make a valid point, AC, and I, I understand. I want to manage our cost, but as Tim says, I think we can manage our cost. I mean, otherwise, keeping our employees here and taking care of them, I think, is more important than some of the things we do through here. You know, if we lose these employees, we don't have. City. So, oh, I agree with that. So I'm, I'm, I'm also kind of looking at it. To take care of them. I mean, In some ways, though, they employed the, the 18 uh, that are family coverage. You know, they're the one that's really, you know, getting the hit. And, uh, and so I'm thinking, if we tweak it just a little bit to, to kind of bring it back down for the family coverage, you know, 199, uh, so it's not an increase to them. And it's still not going to be a uh, uh, an expense to the uh, Individual, you know, the single employee. The 18 of us don't care about that, though, about the increase. We've already talked about. And so, all, all 18 of the family members, or did they thought they were, you know, outnumbered, or, you know, they were okay with that? Yep. We didn't have a, we had no, go ahead. Check. All families right now, currently on a new, if you compare what we have now to what the proposed, what I have now, I'll pay for family. I find out today I paid for a whole year. My wife's not covered. Oh, that's, that's the only reason why I have it. Because she drives to Oklahoma and she has a wreck, she's not covered. And the car she drives has liability. She's wrecked, she's not covered. That's not good insurance. Right. So when I look at it, if we choose, or if y'all choose, to go with the new, I'm willing to pay the $230 a month. It's worth that to me. And again, you know, what I'm saying too, though, when you, when you look at a, a, a major accident or whatever and stuff like that, you know, a thousand dollars goes pretty quick. You know, I mean, yes, if we're all healthy and stuff, I mean, 
yes, you know, it takes a while to get up to that, you know, thousand dollars. But I mean, if you're, you know, really looking at a, a major accident or something like that, I mean, the, you know, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, you know, goes really pretty fast. Okay. And so I'm thinking, you know, when you talk about month in and month out, you're paying this, you know, in your paycheck and stuff, you know, and if if we're like just another, you know, two fifty or you know, for a family, you know, five hundred dollars deductible that you're saving yourself, you know, that uh, we get it back down there to where it is right now, there's no increase to you. So what you're going to do is try to get that 6.82% for the city down. Right, right. And, it, and it might be all just with, with uh, you know, uh, like I said, just increasing the, you know, the deductible. So about $1,000 for okay. individual, take that to 1250 for individual. Right. Instead of me paying $230, they might be $215. Or it might be 199 what you're currently paying right now. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure out where to go. Yeah. Did and you so, say in yeah, that you had other deductibles? I mean, you look at $500 and $1,000 deductible. And the $500, just the medical alone, was $18.67 for the best of the $500 deductible ones for employees. Just the medical. That's what we're going to factor in then for the vision. And of the $1,000 plan, $1,000 deductible plan, this was the most inexpensive. But yet, it's so covered. I'd like to say something too, real quick. You say, Richard, I, I think it's important, and PC is obviously smart to be looking at income that's coming in and what the prediction is, or what we're literally taking in. And I understand that you've got to, and that's, that's a job of counsel and certainly mine too. But I don't, I don't think you can base the spending that you're planning on spending on just the, the taxes that are coming in. I mean, you, you, let's just take parks, for instance, that is budgeted $100,000. And by the end of the year, and, and this is the norm for our departments, uh, for most of our departments, is to not spend all of their budgeted money. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna make decisions based on just the income, or the tax credit plan, you should also figure in what's, what they do to save money over the year. And, and you could you probably end up with a lot different number. I mean, I, I get the budget process of, well, if you're only going to get 2%, you should only raise them to 2%. Uh, well, I'm just looking again at, you know, and I guess I'm having to be, you know, I'm having to put a plan or whatever, I'm just saying that if uh, currently right now, you know, the, the family difference is going to be an increase of $752. If you look at over 24 pay periods mm -hmm. and stuff. And so I'm thinking if, if it's just a $500 increase out of pocket, you know, I said it's still a savings to the end of uh, $152. And if you even look at that way, because they're, if they're saying their total out of pocket is going to be $2,500, you know, then uh, they're spending $752, you know, uh, extra right now to pay for the, if they go to Blue Cross Blue Shield. But if we go in, and, and I don't know, I'm just talking, you know, hypothetical, but I know right now when uh, you're trying to get a quote, they're willing to say, you know, sharpen their pencil or saying this is what we're going to try to do for you. If they're already in there with them, you know, they're not going to, you know, come back with, a, you know, uh, a scenario of saying, oh, well, hey, what if we, you know, went to this? And I said, well, we already got you. You know, it may not be as attractive as they're trying to, you know, trying to win our business right now. Hey, see? You're saying that you're trying to look out for the employees, but the employees have looked at this and say, this is what we want. And, and you're trying to beat it down. Or no, I'm saying I know, it's want to But it's like, it's, have, like right? me, it's like me going out and buying a car, and I tell the salesman, you know, that price sounds good to me on what I want. And then somebody saying, well, let's see if you can get a cheaper one that doesn't have quite the thing, the options on it that you asked for. We've looked at the options, we've looked at the cost, and everybody says that the difference in the insurance or what we've got to what this is way out uh, overshadows the, the difference of the cost. They're ready to go with it. With, with, with what was presented to you. But you, you haven't, have you seen one with, with that? Well, we, we, we have looked at, we, no, none of us, none of us have been looking at a $1,000 or a $1,250 That's what we're doing. Well, I, I know there was one young lady who said that she came from Farmer's Bank and she said, you know, she really she appreciated one, it. She doesn't have family coverage, she has individual. She has individual. Okay, so I'm sure, 
I'm sure the family coverage is going to be even you know, more. I'm just saying that, you know, uh, what's the harm in just looking at it? Didn't they say we were in a real short window that we yes. had to do something? Yes. Yes. We did. We had to take care of that. That's why we had a special home. But no, he didn't really say that. He yeah. said that, uh, I heard him say that even if he met the, uh, you know, in January, February, decided to switch. So, so you want to keep well, the family coverage with this guy right back here that's paying five, paid $5,000 this year because his wife is driving a car with liability insurance. He's paid over $5,000 this year. And if, we, and if we go one more month for the rest of this month and in January, she's not going to be covered. That I was guarantee you, if you call back to uh, Hillary Park, whatever, you know, and ask for a new quote, they can give it to us by, you know, next month. They got this one. Why do we need it? Why do you want? Because we don't want it. Just to see what the difference is. Because no, we have to get this down from the 6.8%. Just for the city, right? Just for the city, not for the, not for the employee. Because we've already said what we wanted. It could be for the employee. It, it, it could be we for the employee. But you don't know. know. But we don't want to hire you. But you don't know, do you? We don't want to hire you. Casey, okay, did you hear me? Yes, I heard we you on that. But you don't, don't know the difference either, do you? I don't know the difference because we don't want to hire a yeah. Everybody here is fairly smart and they all said they were comfortable with that. Thousands. Of, I'd, I'd like to make a comment. This city, at the drop of a hat, will pay for landscaping, the amount of money we pay for flowers, for Christmas lights. To then turn around and say we're going to nitpick and whittle down on insurance to save a percentage or two on insurance. Exactly. Right? No, I'm not nitpicking. Well, yes, you are. Right now. Yes, it's you not cost us any more at all. I said it's a slam dunk. If you take the difference between the Blue Cross Blue Shield plan dollar wise, throw the percentage out the door, you're talking $500 for an employee. $530.61. You're talking what now? Hang on, Mayor. Yes, sir. I, I, I'm hearing what you, what you guys are saying. I, I would be embarrassed to sit here and tell you what my insurance is, honestly. It's that good. And I think these people deserve good insurance. They know what they know what the decision is. They had a meeting. I sat here and listened to the meeting and didn't go any further. The mayor asked them for a show of hands and they all raised their hands. They want the medical, dental, and vision plan under Blue Cross Blue Shield, and that's what I think that we should pass, and that's what I would propose. Thank you. I mean, if we want to come back and look at more quotes over three months, six months, or whatever, okay, maybe, next year, um, next year we can do that. But I mean, I think I think Richard's got a valid point. We spend a lot of money for a lot of things, and we need to do what our employees. We need to take care of our employees. And this is what they want. And again, and I, I know the point you're making, AC. I, I, I don't, I don't argue your point. And but, but that's not what they want. So, but, but, you know, but, but let me know that we are spending a lot for our employees right now. We are. We're spending five hundred. We're spending five hundred twenty-one thousand dollars a year. There. And so we're not, we're not just saying, hey, we're not, we're not spending out of pocket. You know, we're, we're not spending money. We are. But yes, I want, and I want the employees to have good coverage. I want them to have the best that there is out there. But also, and somebody that feel like we got to be, uh, I mean, I don't see what the harm is in, in looking at, you know, a little bit different or whatever. But if you're I doing mean, that just to save an individual money, they've already, the employees have already said that's over. Okay, but, and there again also, though, if we're looking and saying, hey, the city's only bringing an increase of three and a half percent, and if that does bring it into where it's three and a half percent, and you're still just, you know, and you're still getting better coverage and everything. Would you not say so that be acceptable as well? But that goes back into my comment. We buy frivolous things. We do buy frivolous yes, things. Yes, we do. Oh, we do. What? We what? Do. what? Yes. yes. What are frivolous things we buy? I make a motion we Thank vote you. to pass this for the medical, dental, and vision. Is that the third call from the first? Third call, right. Yes. Talking about this. One, two, three, four, fifth call. Yes. Yes. Okay. What is this, 234? 234. I, I just want to clear something up. We're not, not all of us are nitpicking, so I mean, I'm, I'm good with this. If the boys are good with it, I'm now so. Is that a second? Yes. We have a motion and a second. Mr. Brown? No. Mr. Daniel? Yes. Tim Terry? Yes. Lance 
Yes. It passes by majority with Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. 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 Thank you.